Hi A. Today we were looking at tenses. So to begin with, on your piece of paper, can you write down these verbs in their past tense? Once you have done that, can you then write down what it means by past, present and future tense? Okay, so today's learning objective is to understand how to use tenses correctly within our writing. So we're going to look at the different tenses and how we can change them in a piece of text. So to begin with, a video will be playing on which it will explain to you what different tenses mean and there will also be examples of different words that are going to be written in through the three tenses. What I want you to do is on your piece of paper, I want you to write down the definition of the three words and then write down the examples that you have seen in the video. So as I will play the video, I will show you how you'll be doing that on a piece of paper. is then, the present is now, the future is later. The past is then, the present is now, the future is later. I walked my dog, I am walking my dog. I will walk my dog to the shops. I jumped so high, I am jumping so high, I will jump so high, on the trampoline. The past is then, the present is now, the future is later. The past is then, the present is now, the future is later. I ate my lunch, I am eating my lunch, I will eat my lunch in the dinner hall. I wore my coat, I am wearing my coat, I will wear my coat because it's freezing. The past is then. The present is now, the future is later. The past is then, the present is now, the future is later. I played the drums, I am playing the drums. I will play the drums because I love being noisy. I read my book. I am reading my book I will read my book In the library The past is then The present is now The future is later The past is then The present is now The future is later We always write in a tense We're not living in tents we always write in a tense No, we're not living in tents A tense tells us when The sentence happened The past, present, future The past is then The present is now The future is later The past is then
So now that you have written down what it means by past, present and future and have written down the examples, you will now do the following task. On your piece of paper, can you write down whether these sentences are written in past tense, present tense or future tense? All you simply need to do is write down the number and write down the tense that it is in. Now at the bottom you have a secure task which states hide the word which shows the tense. Them tasks are if you want to push yourself and get a better understanding of what the tenses are. So if you want to write down each example then please do write it and highlight the word that shows you the tense that it is in. You should spend about five minutes completing this task. Okay, moving on to the next slide. On this slide, you have got three paragraphs. In these paragraphs, there are words that have been underlined, which you need to change according to the tense that it asks you to change them to. So, in the first example, as you can see, it says, step to success, to rewrite the past of the text in the past tense. So, as you are reading through this paragraph, can you change the words into past tenses and write the whole paragraph up on your piece of paper. Okay, and then you need to do the same for number two and number three in which you will write in present tense and in future tense. Now, if you have completed this task, then there is a bonus task on the next slide in which you will need to write down the correct tense in yourself. Again, you will need to write the whole extract out and fill in the words with the correct tenses. Finally, for you, before you finish today's lesson, you will need to write down how many point, points you get for each of the following words. And if you want to challenge yourself a little more, then can you see which of the two past verbs have more points for them and write them down on your piece of paper. And now that brings us to the end of our lesson.